Our fifth learning objective looks at degree of operating leverage. Here we'll assess the company and how much, uh, how capital intensive it is. If it has a high amount of capital intensivity, uh, we will have high operating costs, whereas, whereas a small increase in sales will result in a large increase in OCF. Uh, degree of operating leverage is the degree to which a firm or project relies on its fixed costs. Typically, uh, these are companies with lots of property, plant, and equipment have a high degree of operating leverage and have therefore have a high dependence on fixed costs. So low operating leverage implies low fixed cost. High degree of operating leverage implies high fixed cost. And then the formula for it is one plus fixed cost over OCF. Uh, so if we are capital intensive, let's say a chemical plant, for instance, has lots of metal, lots of machinery, lots of equipment, uh, we're going to have a high degree of operating leverage, high degree of fixed cost. Fixed costs, as we know, act as a lever, so they can magnify gains and losses and uh, turn a small percentage uh, change in, OC, uh, in sales to a large percentage change in OCF and MPV. And again, this dependent uh, high DOL is a company that has lots of uh, capital equipment, basically. Here's a sample. Sasha Corporation sells gourmet dog food, dollar twenty a can. The variable cost is eighty cents per can, so our contribution margin is forty cents positive. Uh, packaging and marketing have fixed cost of three hundred sixty thousand per year, depreciation sixty thousand per year. And what is the accounting break even? Uh, what is the increase in operating cash flow or OCF if we sell ten percent more above break even? So the price per can, dollar twenty. Uh, variable costs per can, eighty cents. Fixed cost per year, three sixty thousand. Depreciation, sixty thousand, and OCF is sixty thousand. Uh, taxes are ignored. So, uh, break-even quantity on accounting basis: fixed cost plus depreciation over contribution margin, and DOL is one plus fixed cost over OCF. So, uh, simply the accounting break-even quantity again, or in units, or in this case, cans. Uh, fixed cost of 360000 plus OCF of 60000 over P minus V, or contribution margin of $0.40, cents, and I get an accounting break-even quantity of 1,050,000 cans. The degree of operating leverage in this case is 1 plus fixed cost over OCF, so 1 plus $360,000 over $60,000, and that comes out to a DOL of 7. Now, what does that mean? That means this heavily capital-intensive company um, our sales go up 10%. We are levered up due to our high fixed cost uh, by a factor of seven. So our uh, degree of operating leverage will leverage up our small increase in sales to a large increase in OCF of 70%. So a 10% uh, increase in sales is levered up in OCF by our degree of operating leverage to OCF of a positive 70%. Some drawbacks. Um, that uh, DCF does not take into account different options, sometimes easier to buy equipment than to sell it, and we should look into that again in our complete analysis.